Hello everyone, what is happening? Liverpool back to winning ways in the Premier League. 3-1 winners over Fulham at Craven Cottage despite the little wobble just before half-time where Liverpool's one-goal lead was pegged back. Um, really interesting game of football from Liverpool in so much as in recent weeks... But this season, there's been so much drama in our football. So much drama. So much adversity, whether it's like red cards or mad refereeing decisions or conceding first and having to fight our way back and blah, blah, blah. And then what we've had in the last few weeks is just Liverpool being a bit underwhelming, not creating and, and not taking more over the chances that they've had they've created for themselves in front of goal. This game was remarkable in that it was quite run-of-the-mill. And it's interesting because we've left ourselves in sort of this territory where now we've got to win every game, got to win every game. And there's been so much drama that we're sort of conditioned to expect it. And although there is a touch of that, because of course, you know, the game gets levelled up at one all. There's something, there's something in that if you take away the context of the build-up to this, and that context is Liverpool haven't been, have been a bit wasteful in front of goal and they're not in a great run of form. I would just look at this and say this was again, a very run-of-the-mill, good quality away performance against a decent football side that are well coached and have got some good that have got some good players. Um, but it felt at times more fearful and more pressureful than I. And I think a lot of that I know personally came from me. I just felt a bit, a bit down in the dumps with it all. To be honest, um, not really sure what Liverpool was going to turn up, and a little fearful that this might be the sort of the beginning of the end and what we were going to see was more Liverpool just letting their season peter out to nothingness and mentally, psychologically sort of preparing myself for the, well, what does a season look like if Liverpool just finished third and don't really challenge for the title? They'll have the League Cup in the bag, Jürgen Klopp's going to be leaving. You know, we saw that anticlimactic end to Steven Gerrard's uh, Liverpool time. Um, and that can be... A distraction, and I was it's in danger of becoming that. You know, wanting, needing this ideal. Say, I was wanting the, the probably the best manager Liverpool had in my lifetime as a fan. Um, wanting him to leave on the biggest possible high, letting him finish the story, get that Premier League title in front of fans, um, is the absolute ideal now at this point. But that adds so much sort of pressure. Whereas in reality, Liverpool just need to win some football matches. We need to get back on the horse. We need to prove that we can score goals and win games. And they did that today and what I thought was great about that was it was the players involved in doing that Trent back in the team after a long injury layoff and scoring a free kick you know people can have conversations around the quality of right backs and where he ranks and blah 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 No, none of the right backs that Trent is constantly compared to or analysed against has that skill set has that ability in the locker to do that um, it puts him for me puts him above and beyond you know, he's a genuine genius of a footballer. So it's great to see him back in the team. We're, every football team on the planet would be a better team for having a Trent in there. And lo and behold, we were too. So there was that. Um, and actually, Gravenberch and, and Harvey Elliott coming back in. Elliott, who's been a, a vital, almost 12th man for us this season, but actually getting a start against his former club. And I think really digging deep for the team, along with Gravenberch, both did a really tactically solid job in the first half. I think they allowed, they didn't allow Fulham to overrun us. They got back in time and time again. I saw them just shutting down pass lanes and actually going being physical, winning the ball back and just snuffing out danger before it really became dangerous. Very archetypally Klopp, Liverpool midfielder like the kind of thing that you'd see Jordan Henderson and Milner and Wijnaldum and what have you doing and actually seeing it from these two 21-year-old wonder kid attacking, goal-scoring, creative, dribbly midfielders, I think it speaks to the, you know, the magnificence of them and their quality, but also the great coaching. And also, again, digging in for the team when it was needed. And it felt a little bit like they were probably underwhelming for what we wanted from them and what Liverpool were expected to do. Are you go and take the game to Fulham and go and win it. Not quite enough of that too evenly matched, I think, in the first half. Not enough, but actually, we let the, did we let the handbrake off? Did we just try trusting Gravenberch and Elliot to get involved a bit more? With, with whatever it is, and whether it's something different than that altogether, 
both stepped up and both I thought had a really excellent games and Gravenberch took his goal absolutely brilliantly but Harvey Elliott was much more involved Gravenberch much more involved in the areas of the pitch doing the things that you want them to be doing for us and again this speaks to the quality the depth of quality Enzo Gravenberch Elliott as a midfield three there's a there's a good chance, realistically, that none of them are in Liverpool's best midfield. It was a gamble, and I think a gamble based around getting some players into form, but also getting some fitness, uh, putting some minutes back in the legs of McAllister and so on. And look at Sobers Lai, he only gets for like 10 minutes with injury time, and all of a sudden he looks like he's going to have to step his game up, because if Gravenberch is playing like that, Elliot's playing like that, Jones will come back in as well, and he'll prove himself, McAllister will want to play in those... That's what we need, competitiveness. We want a bunch of lads because we're going to need them. We're going to need everyone to expend every egg of energy and really throw themselves into this final five games because, and I can say this now and I wasn't sure I'd be able to say this before the game kicked off, Liverpool are still fighting for the title. There is a Premier League title to be won. And yeah, if we put in that as the baseline performance, then we've got every chance of being in the conversation. So yeah, Liverpool go back. Level on top of the league with Arsenal on points. City will have a game in hand and Arsenal top. Uh, I've got a plus eight better goal difference than us. But you know what? Whatever. Where I was, my mood around this and our chances were in the toilet going into this game. And Liverpool have managed to fish it out. You know, give it a little shake, maybe bang it in some rice. And hopefully it can perform just as well, if not better, moving forward. Because, yeah, we all want something to play for. No one wants Jürgen Klopp's time as the pool manager to peter out. And, and, and what we saw today was least of all the players. Because they're the only ones we can give the support, we can give the love, we can be supportive of these lads. And we should be. Um, but those lads on the pitch need to do it. And today they did. So brilliant. Thanks so much to them for that. Um, yes, that is that. Thank you so much for joining me. Drop a like and check out redmanplus.com for more amazing Liverpool content as we count down to the end of the season.